Hi guys, welcome to Miss Hall's Reading Corner. Today we will be reading Here and There, written by Tamara Ellis Smith. Like the birds he loved, Ivan rarely kept quiet. Instead of sitting still, he crawled through the window, perched in a pear tree, stuffed his hands in his pockets, and scattered bird seed. He drummed like a woodpecker, cawed like a crow, and shrieked like a falcon. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, Ivan would sing. Ivan wanted to stay here, his mama's house, but he had to go there, his dad's new house. When he got there, Ivan didn't crawl or perch or stuff or scatter. Want me to push you? asked dad, showing him the swing outside. Ivan folded his arms like wings. Where'd you learn to stay so still? Dad asked. There, thought Ivan. Even when he was sitting right here as his, at his dad's new house, he thought of it as there. While he was there, Ivan didn't drum or caw or shriek. Want to play robots with me? Asked Dad, showing him a box filled with jars, cans, and rolls of cloth. Ivan squeezed his lips into a sharp beak. Where'd you learn to be so quiet? Dad asked. There, thought Ivan again. Ivan roosted all by himself around the house, up in there, around the corner there, and out the door there, and there, and there. He heard a falcon shriek, but he didn't shriek back. Then he heard another sound. Dad was sitting on the porch with his guitar strumming a song, then another and another, the way he used to do when he was here instead of there. And though Ivan tried to fold his wings against it, one song pulled on his hands and tugged at both of his feet. Ivan couldn't be still. He unfolded his wings, tapped his toes, and wrapped his fingers on his knees. He felt the way he did when Mama lifted him high to pick pears from the branches of their tree. He moved the way that he did when Dad pushed him on a swing as high as the sun. I like that, said Ivan, unsqueezing his lips. Where'd you learn to make up songs? I started the tune before I moved, said Dad, and I've been working on it more at this house. Does the song have words, asked Ivan. Dad shrugged his shoulders. Not yet. Maybe check your pockets. So Ivan put his hand in his pockets and found the last little bits of bird seed. Dad played the song again. Ivan couldn't be quiet. He drummed, then cawed, then shrieked, soft, but soon loud, one word, then two words, then three. Dad clapped his hands. Again, said Ivan. Caw, caw, perchickery. Shriek, shriek, jump, Phoebe, Phoebe. Cheer up, cheer up, cheer, cheer, cheer. Tick a sweet, tick a sweet, here, here, here. Hip, hip, hurrah, Zuzé, Zuzi, Zar. Pizza, pizza, there, there, there. Where'd you learn to make up songs, asked Dad. Some of it I learned th uh, there, said Ivan, and some of it here. Ivan sang and swum and beeped and swooped all weekend until it was time to go back to Mama's house. He kissed Dad goodbye and then said, I'll be back again soon. Ivan was glad to see Mama, but he missed Dad, and he missed the song they made together. Ivan perched in the pear tree. He put his hands in his pockets and found nothing. You're so still, said Mama, and so quiet. I think I lost something, said Ivan. Then he heard a falcon shriek. It was there, said Ivan, and now it's here. Ivan checked his pockets again. He couldn't find the bird seed, but his fingers found the beat. Ivan knocked his knees, shrieked to the sky, and flapped his arms like wings. He had not lost it. It was here with him. Mama heard it too. She caught the spark and clapped her hands. Her feet began to dance. Ivan took a breath and, like a bird, sang his song out loud. The end. See you guys next time.